Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Better Book Reviews. Today I'm going to be doing a book review over Beauty Queens by Libba Bray. I thought it was going to be like Lord of the Flies all over again, but as I continue to read, it turns out that I was wrong. And it was the exact opposite, which I was kind of disappointed in, but I was also really excited because I've never, I've never read anything like Libba Bray's Beauty Queen. The book is all about is these 50 Miss Teen Dream pageant girls were going to celebrate the, like, the certain anniversary, I don't really remember what the number was, of the mystery and dream pageants and it turns out that the plane had a different idea and it crash landed on an island. They don't have any food or water. They don't have any eyeliner makeup or anything. What's a girl to do without any plastic surgeons or tanning salons or beauty stores or fashion boutiques? What are they to do? They, all these girls elect a leader, and it was Texas who won. She keep, wants the girls to keep practicing and rehearsing for their mystery and dream pageant, because they think that they're going to be rescued. I mean, Texas has all the hope in the world that these girls are going to be rescued. And they still are practicing, even though there are giant sta snakes, 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 and... Uh, these like hallucination for the ED and you just kind of like are loopy and you pass out I guess I don't really know. There's a dictator and a super mega corporate corporation that they have to deal with then some pirates come along and how do they feel about that? I think it's kind of cool how Bray um, she puts in like a little bit of racism because there is a two darker girl, the other 48 are white and it tells like how they feel about the, the darker girls, how they feel like about racism, if they're being judged, what's going on, what are they feeling. Also I really liked that Bray had a girl in the book have something happen to her, like came out of the closet type thing and it deals with that and also another girl who turns out to be a boy it's awesome how bray is able to do this like be able to be in the mind of each character and it's so cool it's mostly told from the main character and i guess it kind of jumps around that's what I picked up from it I picked up that there are multiple people telling the story I like how she's able to get into the minds of all of these characters all these 50 some characters and she's able to talk with each one and I think that is awesome because I don't think I'd be able to do that and keep them all apart in the book there are certain pages where it's just like fun facts about each of the contestants like yeah it's the gray pages just a couple Great pages that look like this and it just tells who it is where they're from what their age is and some of the fun facts about them and doing this I think it decides helps the reader decide or like lets the reader have their own opinion about who these characters are and I think that's really cool there are a ton of plot twists in this book it is so cool I absolutely adored this book it was so funny Libba Bray is a genius she is uh, an award-winning author, she wrote um, Going Bovine and A Great and Terrible Beauty, I think, I think it is, and she's uh, she won a Prince Award. I recommend this book to anyone out there who just wants to laugh. It's such a good book, and I think it's so cool, and I don't know, I just really, really like this book. I really, really did. Just something about it makes me like, Bray just got inside my head and messed with me, I guess, because it was such a good book. I really, really liked it. Sorry, my nose is really itchy. So if you want to read a good book and you want to laugh, I recommend Beauty Queens by Libba Bray. All right, see you guys. Comment, subscribe below, and if you have any recommend recommendations for me, let me know. See ya.